Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. So that means it's time for Caps Recap, a monthly channel update series. And, uh, oh man, May was an interesting month. So for starters, hello to the uh, 400 plus new subscribers I've gained. Welcome to the channel. Most of you are Dying Rampa fans. I appreciate y'all. Unfortunately, uh, I've kind of done everything Dying Rampa related on my uh, channel to date, but I still hope you'll stick around and see some things you like. Sort of similar to Dying Rampa, I am going through the entirety of the Phoenix Wright series, and I plan on starting the uh, Nonary games this year. But yeah, I really do appreciate all y'all, and I'm glad you enjoyed the uh, Dying Rampa reaction videos. No clue why those got as big as they did this month, but uh, it happened. Also in May, I did, well, I tried my best to do a marathon of like 30 straight days with one break a week. Uh, I did miss one day, but it is what it is. I still had fun doing it, and some new people showed up for those too, so hope you like the channel. Uh, this marathon took a lot out of me and kind of destroyed the uh, upload schedule that I had kind of uh, cultivated and was doing a pretty good uh, job at keeping, but um, yeah, I probably will not be doing another like month-long marathon thing unless something major happens for the channel or I hit 10 years on YouTube or whatever. I, I don't know, but yeah, that this one was kind of rough. But despite some of the difficulties, I still had a lot of fun with it, and I was also kind of using that as a way to gauge, like, what kind of games uh, do people like to see streamed, or what do I find fun to stream, etc., etc., and, um, yeah, I have some pretty good ideas. Still shocked and amazed that the Sonic Forces stream was, like, the biggest one. You guys really like bad games. And it won't be the end of some of those games. I do uh, intend to go back uh, and uh, beat some of those games on stream. A few that stick out in particular to me are Ape Escape and Resident Evil 2. I was not expecting those streams to be as fun as they were, but hey, like I really enjoyed playing those games. And it kind of helped improve my opinion of the Ape Escape series and the Resident Evil series. Also, I kind of want to stream Resident Evil 5 co-op, so, um, hey, if, if we got some volunteers for that, you know, uh, hit me up. We, can, we might be able to work something out, if it's on might. But yeah, for everybody uh, that, like, joined the channel, uh, whether it be from Diorampa or from the streams, I uh, hope you like what you see, and I hope you stick around and enjoy yourselves. Uh, with that said, just gonna go through the uh, main format here yeah, uh, with ongoing slash upcoming things for the channel. Might as well start with the upcoming. Um, recently did two polls on the channel. Uh, one asking like what uh, theme for summer would you all like to see? Since I've been doing like theme summers, like oh summer of strategy, 16-bit summer, summer of Sony, etc., etc as well as the next Grand Theft Auto game I'll play on my channel. And, um, yeah, the winners were, uh, pretty, uh, pretty cut and dry. So yeah, for summer, I'm gonna be focusing on monster games. It's gonna be a summer of monsters. Some monsters, if you will. Summer monsters, some monsters. We'll work out something. And I've already broken down how I'm going to just be doing stuff for summer. So in June, just uh, monster games related to uh, anime series. Just uh, look over the fact that the Pokemon games came out before the uh, anime came about. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, I'll be LPing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX. And I'll be doing weekly streams of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, just trying to beat that game. And the latest Digimon RPGs. Probably won't be doing both games, just the first one. I've forgotten the name. I'm also like a noob when it comes to Digimon, but I heard everybody say amazing things about the anime and the game. So I figured, why not check them out? 
July is just going to be about monster game IPs that didn't really have a presence like in any other like kind of media. So I'll be LPing one of the Dragon Quest monster games leaning towards Joker and there will be pretty regular streams of Monster Hunter. Just got to decide on which one to go with. Which is also going to be especially tough since I've never played a Monster Hunter game outside of Final Fantasy Explorers, which, you know, is its own thing. But it is a Monster Hunter clone. And Doom! Aren't those demons, though? Well, hey, you know, I ran a poll on Twitter and Twitter said that demons can be considered monsters. And you know what? I'm going to go with Twitter on this one. So, yeah, Doom. It's going to be streamed, yo. Now you get to laugh at my first-person shooter skills in real time. And August is going to be all about Kaiju. Still working out what I'm going to be streaming and LPing for that month. But some games that I do have set to the side for Kaiju Month are War of the Monsters, Earth Defense Force, and the Rampage series. I'm still like asking around like for recommendations and looking into that and whatnot. So we'll see. Uh, August is subject to change, but June and July are pretty much uh, set in stone. As for the next Grand Theft Auto game, Vice City won the poll pretty handily. I'm kind of surprised about that. So yeah, look forward to Grand Theft Auto Vice City starting soon. Just got to work on finalizing some stuff for that. And I guess I might as well do a 100% LP of it. It's not that hard of a game to 100%. I'd say it's easier than San Andreas, honestly. But yeah, more on that when we get to it. With Tokyo Mirage Sessions wrapping up fairly soon, Exit will start after that. And Exit is not a particularly long game, so that will definitely be over by the end of June. So once Exit is over, I will be starting Baroque. Is what I would like to say, but um, out of the flippin' blue, a remaster of Baroque was announced for Switch. Currently only slated for Japan, but it'll probably get localized. If not, Switch is region free, so I could just get it and like find a translation or just use my own copy of the game since it's... Uh, being remastered and all, but, uh, yeah, that, that one, that one kind of, uh, shook me to the core. So, hell, I don't know, maybe I should say I'm about to play, uh, F-Zero or, uh, Golden Sun or Hey Pikmin, and then maybe we'll get new entries in all of those series. We'll, we'll see, I don't know, but, uh, but yeah, since I'm putting Baroque by the wayside, I guess I can move on to something that, um, I've kind of been prepping for for a while. Yeah, that would be Super Mario 3D World and Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Actually meant to start this a while back, but had to wait for art to get commissioned. So, hey, we're here now. I am looking forward to that. Though there's also the rumblings of that uh, 3D Mario compilation that's uh, that could possibly be coming out this year to celebrate the game's, what, 30th anniversary, 35th? I don't even know anymore, but uh, yeah, that's rumored, and um, on one hand, I would be very happy to see that happen, but on the other hand, it would yet again be another case of like, wow, just disrupt my whole plans here, huh? Ah, uh, well, so, um, yeah, Tokyo Mirage Sessions will continue, like, uploading on its days, and then Exit will start up after that. Grand Theft Auto Vice City will start up now, actually. Um, that Kid Icarus Uprising is over. Uh, since I'm going to be doing, like, the uh, summer stuff and uh, GTA and... Um, like Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Exit, and or uh, Mario on weekdays. I'll probably move 428 Shibuya Scramble to weekends, still uploading uh, once per week until it's over. There's 
honestly not too much left. I mean, in terms of game length, yeah, there's a lot left, but in terms of like chapter count, it's not too much. I initially did plan on uh, doing Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal after Kid Icarus Uprising, based on that poll I did last freaking year. But with all of these uh, daily things going on, uh, the channel is already going to be a bit crowded as it is, so yeah, I'll just hold off on that for the time being. It's still going to come this year, but you know, I'm just going to wait for things to clear up. Uh, not much to say on the IRL front, uh, still working the same job because, like, you know, real quarantine days just means that, uh, you know, you, you can't really go job searching for something better. But I don't mind working from home. I am contemplating upgrading my mic for the channel. Uh, we'll see. If anything, I definitely want to get a mic stand. I kind of been putting that off for a while, too. I guess an arm for my desk would be decent as well, but and I also don't have the best desk in the world. And yeah, still thinking about all of that. And I don't really have much else to say, so I guess I might as well end things now before I start rambling. So once again, welcome to everybody who's here for Danganronpa purposes or from the May streams. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Thanks to my patrons. Uh, Adon, Brain Earth Productions, and new patron Hazy Sunshine. Link in the description down below if you want to pledge to me on Patreon. I got a bunch of different uh, level. I got a couple different levels and uh, perks and stuff. You know, uh, inching ever closer to the lowest goal, which is playing a Soulsborne game from start to finish on stream. Link in the description below to where you can join my Discord. Uh, still pretty small and bare bones by other Discord standards, but I'm still working on it uh, bit by bit to just, you know, improve on it, add some stuff, make it better. Uh, stay tuned for Grand Theft Auto Vice City and monster-related games throughout the summer. And I will see you all next time with whatever gets uploaded next. Woo! Goodbye.